Hey you guys, this is a new video about these bohemian faux locks. I was really excited to see a style like this on one of my favorite YouTubers page, Beauty Can Braid. I'll be sure to link her video below. Uh, and I was so inspired that I wanted to try it myself. So if you guys want to see how I got this super cute protective style for the fall and winter, then just keep on watching. So I started with blow dried hair and I wasn't really planning on doing this I had actually blow dried my hair just because that's how I've been um, stretching my hair and I used this blow dryer on a low setting and then this Olivia Garden turbo ceramic uh, round brush I've already put in some pro heat protectant it's the Shea Moisture blow dry um, cream and my twists are about halfway dry so I just used the lowest setting lowest speed and then medium heat uh, sometimes I actually don't use this attachment it actually goes faster if I just use the concentrator nozzle but once I've got that a little more dry then I go in with the round brush and that just kind of makes it smooth again this is totally optional you don't have to blow dry your hair to do this style but I had previously blow dried my hair and uh, I used my blow dry um, my blowout to do twist outs and buns and other styles this is just how I have been stretching my hair um, and it kind of looks like this, so shameless plug to follow me on Instagram. <laughs> um, now I've braided almost all of my hair. I use triangle parts, and so I'm just gonna show you how I do it. Um, I had the blowout in for about five days, and I just used this Camille Rose Naturals Leave-In Detangler. It's the coconut water edition. I use a tiny amount. This product is concentrated, um, so I don't mind that it's gonna make it super super moisturized like I would never use this product in this way but because I'm gonna braid up my hair and it's gonna be hugged by synthetic hair for a long time I wanted to make sure that it stayed nice and moisturized so I do add that roots or I'm sorry ends to root and then I braid halfway down this method I got from Jazz Nicole um, and she calls it bristed where you braid part of the way down and then you two strand twist the ends and I like doing it this way because it makes the takedown way easier to just two strand twist the ends. I used four and a half packs of the Bomba Faux Locks uh, Dreadlocks. This is by Bobby Boss and all the details will be in the description box below. And then I used half a pack of the Free Tress Braid in Deep Twist, also in the color number two. So you just open the loop of your faux lock um, crochet braids and I just put that, uh, what is this thing called? Uh, crochet, <laughs> what is this thing? The latch hook, oh my gosh. You put the latch hook in the base of the braid. You wanna make sure the braids are tight. Um, that way it'll stay in and then you uh, put both the lock and the braid through the loop got this method this idea from Jazz Nicole she's super cute you guys should check her out I will leave her video linked below and then you just loop it through one time and then make a little knot and then you just open up the coil because these faux locks are technically giant coils and I just open that and then just wrap the braid inside of it and you just go all the way down I'm not saying that this method is faster than cornrowing your hair and uh, total style time for me was about five and a half hours just because my hair is long and it takes a long time to braid it. Um, but it's super, super simple. And then once you're all done, your hair is just inside the little faux lock. And I love it because it still looks like individual locks without um, <laughs> taking as much time as they normally do. Uh, the traditional way to do this but you can't even see my hair on the inside and I definitely recommend choosing a color if you want it to look uh, seamless use a color that matches your roots rather than the length of your hair so I have about 55 locks in which is why it took four and a half packs and then I'm gonna take this pack of the free tress um, it's like bulk braiding hair in the color two and I thought it was so cute on Beauty Can Braids video that I wanted to try it myself. She did hers on her client a little bit different but I was inspired by her. Now this section of hair is a little too big to add so I'm just gonna split it in half again uh, and it doesn't tangle which is super nice like you just separate it and then run your hands down and then it's like perfect. I just insert the latch hook needle in the base of the braid that I want to add it to and then loop that in now this was a little bit of a struggle for me because I'm using the viewfinder, but I have two mirrors. You can see one of them is behind me and then there's the one in front of me, but I'm 
trying to make sure you guys can see it on the camera, so I'm struggling a tiny bit. But you just take a small section of hair from that, um, and this makes it so more hair is not knotted and it's kind of gonna hide the knot, I, I don't know. I just use a tiny bit of hair and I loop that three times and then I pull it securely. And that way it's not going to go anywhere. And you don't have to do this. You can also add more hair than I did, but there you can see it's not going anywhere. And then you just arrange the wavy part where however you want. Yeah, just like that. I'm going to show you one more time. Uh, after you loop it through in the base of your braid, you're going to take a small section of hair from that, uh, the other side, and then pull it through the loop three times just to make sure it stays secure. And then pull both ends to tighten the knot. And that way it's kind of hidden. I mean, obviously this is not my hair, but I think it looks super cute, super bohemian. Uh, perfect for the fall or the winter. I plan on keeping this in hopefully for six to eight weeks. Then you just add some hair cups. I got these at a beauty supply store near me and I'm going to use some embroidery floss that I got at Michael's and you're just going to take your latch hook again and again I got this idea from Beauty Can Braid. I love her channel and you uh, insert the latch in the base of the braid and then you just knot the, fl the floss, right? Embroidery floss just one time to get it secure. And I pulled quite a bit of length out. I didn't need it to be quite this long. And then you just wrap it around the lock and you can do this as many times as you want. I just did one because I thought it was super cute like that. And then you're all done. Add as many pieces of hair jewelry that you want. And these are my final results. It is so cute. I hope you guys like this. I hope you're inspired. Let me know what protective styles you guys are doing this fall and winter. And the locks are 18 inches long and I am 5'4 and so this hits about mid back length. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and be sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, be sure to hit the little bell so you get all the notifications for the videos that I create. Until next time you guys, bye. Oh,